Right, what have I been up to? Um, I've took a bit of a turn with this COVID malarkey. Um, I was supposed to go back to work this morning, but it snowed, and by the time I'd sort of got to work, I felt exhausted again. So I came back home and rang the doctors, and now I'm off. Um, <coughs> so if I cough and splutter a little, don't worry. You won't catch COVID death through your phone. Um, right, so what have I done? Uh, as you can see, this thing now has working suspension. Um, I'm amazed at how stiff this body shell has become. Um, this panel here, it, you can't really tell. It's not three little strips. It's one white piece um, from a Mini Cooper that I took the roof off of. Um, bonded it in with... Uh, you who multi-purpose glue of all things uh, but it dries um, like a hard rubber a bit like shoe goo and uh, takes longer to dry but uh, if you clamp it properly and you don't move it once it's stuck it's stuck as you can see this is solid uh, and I can pick it up by this um, without any cracking noises or anything so I think if you can see all the bits bonded together under there it's not pretty um, but it seems to be working so um, and this is all held together with uh, drywall tape and shoe glue on the back of there <laughs> somebody did ask me you can just about see it can you see it uh, no pawn's not picking up right so that's uh, body shell uh, I need this is like um, I'm not sure if it's ABS PVC or styrene. Uh, it's only one mil. Uh, it comes. It sheets. It's black. Um, obviously, I haven't painted it. It came black. Um, these are just like separate roof pieces from the other truck that I cut up. Um, eventually, I will be getting some epoxy putty and filling this um, and smoothing it so that you can't see the join. And it should epoxy putty should dry hard enough to be secure but flexible enough to bend with the shell so it shouldn't crack and break that's the plan um plan on cutting another piece of this to stick along here um so that when i put another piece there it'll give a natural shut line between the two pieces reinforcing this so you see it's pretty floppy reinforcing this with two layers and with filler on the back so that should make that nice it's this is filled with uh, resin um, it's not particularly brilliant um, but I'm hoping the filling and backing up process um, will sort that out I've got some um, additional panels I've got two sets of interior door panels so uh, at some point I'll be probably making some of these and gluing them in the back here so hopefully by the time I've finished I've got three sort of three interior to sort of cannibalize so hopefully uh, I'll be able to glue it from the back and from the front and once it's painted and filled and that you won't be able to tell uh, hopefully it will I mean from a distance it, it looks pretty good but when you get up close to it you can see that it's a bit ropey <laughs> um, but like I said it's rigid I expected that at some point I'd have picked this up and this all of a cracked so maybe I did a good job first time out <laughs> that's not like me at all as you can see we've got suspension we've got the back end now I made this for another project um, it was for one of these in fact this um, I'd cut out it and to make space for shock towers and for various different chassis I've actually thrown this away once it was in a box that was supposed to go out in the bin and I forgot so there's a box of parts in the shed that I come across I'm like oh my god buried treasure <laughs> so there we go um, I'm gonna refit that into the back I'm going to refit that in the back, I think, instead of the metal one, because these are too wide. Um, they looked good for what I was doing. It was supposed to be like a low rider. The idea was the wheels were going to sit in the wells. It was going to be like something you'd see um, one of the builders on American television where they build hot rods and shit. Um, oh. Sorry, I just noticed it's not straight. It's straight up here. And it leans out there, so I'm assuming when I glue it all together, that'll pull itself in place. Um, yeah, I have got. Um, I cut the piece out of this 
um, from the original truck and uh, I've moulded it uh, I'm going to put some hinges here because um, I wasn't sure uh, being from the UK you don't see many excursions in this country I've seen one maybe in my lifetime um, I thought the doors were full doors and they opened out I hadn't realised there was like a little um, barn door affair and then the top lifted outwards um, the, the, the upper part lifted up like that so that makes my job a whole lot easier I can make this one piece just put some little pegs here and hinge it so that I can get battery in and out uh, whether I'll make the doors hinged uncertain uh, there's a nice flat piece there to stick hinges on I'll just get some like um, doll's house hinges uh, they're like little brass hinges usually um, so made it a lot more rigid and uh it's a shame i made these wheel wheels so big because this fits it's rigid um now unfortunately it's rigid up here but it's not rigid here in the base um i made a piece to go across underneath but um come to the chassis in a moment i'll show you how i've mounted it um i need to join this section uh, this section to the original seating and it just sits there with a big gap at the minute, so <clears throat> that transition, I need to fix that. Um, right, uh, as you can see, we have full-blown suspension. It sits a little low in the back because um, the cheapo shockers and, and they're just stiffer springs. And well, I could, when I mounted it before, I sat right up in the air like a dragster, so I dropped the springs a little, and now it sits low in the back. Uh, if you push it down the front, it settles, it's level, but it wants to sit up in the front. Um, so maybe when I've got extra stuff on here, I'll sit the sides off out. Uh, I can't mess about with spring rates until it's finished. Uh, I made like a metal tub um, because I used the original shock tower in the front. Um, going to do lighting for it eventually. I'm going to take these back off because it's not the sort of thing that needs these, is this build. Uh, it's definitely an on road. Um, if it were an off road, I could have just used the original big chassis for it, but the wheel's sticking out. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of the tyres are the wrong way around. Don't you, Fabe? Eagle eyed, I've noticed. Right, so what's that's the plan? Oh, yeah, chassis. I said a train of chassis, didn't I? Uh, that would normally fasten there. That's all I've done. I've put this extra little piece in um, that was from another build where I extended it to fit a Traxxas slash. Um, now, because the way I've mounted it, there's this <coughs> god awful gap, and I hate gaps between chassis and bodies um that the original steering assembly that i were worried about will fit perfectly in there so i can just bolt that back on steering all is working it's an easy fix right what am i going to do with a chassis now on big yellow i made a, a whole floor pan of my own and it sits proud of the body and then sort of tilts back in to the doors so it'll be like a u-shaped pan v-shaped whatever you want to call it anyway i'm going to get a big piece of metal uh, i have loads of this um so i'm gonna this one isn't oh it is actually just big enough um so i'm gonna make a floor pan out of that and then all electronic gubbins will fit in that void there and there's a good inch and a half void there so job done i may not have to mount it at the back then i may be able to use these mounting points um if i can because i found if you bend aluminium enough it becomes very rigid uh yeah it's a shame they don't work because they will look ace painted uh i'm quite impressed with that i may just keep that for another project at some point i do have leftover bits to this now i promised them to somebody else but if he doesn't want them uh i'll build a third something out of the remains um right wheels um i covered this in the other one these make such a big off these are the original wheels for this and i really wanted to use the original wheels um but they made such a huge offset that they don't fit within the arches you know i'm messing about and uh these are 3.8 Ta-da! these fit on tracks as 3.8 rims now oh. Come on. 
I don't know what the offset is on these. I've not pulled the trigger on these yet. I need to actually cut the wheels in half to fit the tyres on. And once I've done that, uh, they won't go on over the springs. The full wheel won't fasten on. So I won't, I'm going to have to cut the wheels. Oh, um, they're not an exact fit, but the little ring off the back just nicely fills in the gap. These tyres are actually 339 mil, and the wheels are 38, so... Uh, <clears throat> right now these look awesome they would be effectively drift rims which means there's no grip which will take all the pressure off the drive line um i would have to sit it even maybe a little higher to make space for these it's just a matter i'm going to cut this one because the hex on the back is actually semi-rounded off so uh i would just have to buy one pair of wheels uh, i can't find the other two anyway i don't know where they are i can only find two um, so I may just do it, just do it, and uh, if not, there'll be drift wheels for an Emacs. <laughs> I'll, I'll find a use from. Right, so that's where we are on the excursion build. Um, I don't know how many people want it to know, but there you go. Um, that at that ride height, that was fantastic. Now I'm annoyed that these are from an untouched. The front end is from an untouched F350 shell, and the back end is from one that I put big wheels on. So the arches are way wider now. I have the piece that I cut out. Never throw anything away, you never know. Uh, I have this idea in my mind recycling. Uh, this plastic will glue to this plastic, so I know that if I ever need to make any spaces or fill any gaps, if I've got some of the original plastic, I know I'm not going to get any reactions. Just a little tip there. Um, so there we go, that's the excursion update done uh, I've fixed the drive shaft on Big Yellow uh, thanks to Fims Presents RC for sending me a uh, he said it was a Jazz Rider Bully drive shaft well it's the same as a King Hall drive shaft so there you go uh, saved me a small fortune there buddy boy if you're watching right so there we go thanks for watching um, the next time you see this it will have steering and may have Emacs 3.8 wheels in it. Oh. Right, there we go. Um, goodbye.